Hey guys, Gary here, going to be talking to you today about The Walking Dead Season 5 premiere, No Sanctuary, and all this will be my thoughts about the episode. So yeah, <laughs> what a great start to the series, it was a fantastic episode, it was full of action, full of gore, it was, it was a really dark episode for that we've never actually seen before in The Walking Dead, and a lot of people are saying that it probably is the best premiere since Season 1 premiere, and... Yeah, I'm gonna have to admit it is. It was just non-stop action from the start. We have um, we have Carol who did this episode was more like Rambo when she got herself messed up in blood all over her so that she's blending with zombies. She put mud all over her face so like to camouflage. It was just like <laughs> one of like the best things ever. Just just if you think back to season one and just see how rubbish she was then compared to now. Just an amazing character development, and I think it's amazing the way she can change a character like that because she has now become probably one of the best characters and most badass in The Walking Dead. And you can tell, like, that all the stuff with Lizzie and Mika when she had to kill Lizzie has made her cold just because the way she killed Mary, shot her in the leg, and had the feather to the walkers type thing. I thought that was pretty dark, and she showed, like, no remorse, really, Carol, which is really probably one of the best things. Um, so yeah, the episode started off in with them all in a train cart and like making weapons out of the belts and zippers and whatever they have, whatever they could find, a bit of wood. Um, and then the Abraham shouts move because the smoke grenade's gone, got put in, and then the the termites take Rick, Bob, Daryl, and Glenn into this room. Which just looks like a butcher's room where you know where they bleed out animals and shit, and then they're all lined up on the knees, tied up, and Rick looks down the line and sees Sam from season four, and we, well, we only saw a bit of Sam really, didn't we, in uh, season four when he was with his girlfriend, and but we only see his girlfriend's body, so we knew he had to come back somehow, and that was probably like the darkest way to come back really. Uh, Whack across the head and slit the throat. I'm gonna tell you though, in, in that scene, I was that was dark for the Walking Dead, and it was one of the scenes where I was um, where I was like worrying there for characters like Bob and Glenn and Daryl. I really thought, oh shit, I reckon they're not good. I reckon they're gonna take no prisoners and just slice one of them anyway. And then Bob gives his little speech, and then next minute he hears gunshots and panic, which is actually Carol, and. And then when Gareth goes off to investigate, uh, Rick manages to kill one of the uh, termites and then kill the other one to break out. And oh, that's just when the shit really went everywhere. You <laughs> could tell like he was dead serious when he said, don't let them turn because you just know how sick these people were. It was just, I just, it was like, it was every man for themselves basically when the walkers got involved as well outside. And I love the way Rick snatched that guy's gun and shot down the rest of the termites and oh Jesus and then you'd have that um, fella from the flashback at the end uh, who raped all the women and she had Glenn had screaming in the container and he opened the container and it was him so that was a bit uh, it's a bit of a fun one that like they kept them alive and they just must have tortured them and everything and he didn't last long so he got bit Glenn had to like put him down type thing it was, a, it was a weird one, and then one of the most intense and probably darkest threats of the whole episode had to be uh, Tyrese and the fella and the baby. Well, Tyrese is like gone through, he's going through this thing where he's not killing anyone, or he needs to snap out of that. Like, but you know, he's still traumatized probably from the whole Mika and Lizzie incident. But yeah, as soon as, as soon as that guy said. Um, I'm gonna kill the baby and that you just knew you're gonna you're gonna have to think oh shit Tyrese, and then when t- he told when he managed to get hold of the baby and told Tyrese to go outside, I thought oh fuck this Tyrese is gonna die here, <laughs> and then he uh, he went super badass and killed the walkers and then came in and beat the shit out of that fella. I thought that was pretty impressive. Yeah, we have him, um, and then after every stops and. Sh- <laughs> Rick shoots Gareth, and, but you can tell he's missed Gareth, and Gareth will be probably be in future episodes, but at the end, when the reunion with Carol and Daryl, oh man, I thought that was a bit of a... 
thought that was quite good to be honest, you know, because the uh, they haven't seen each other for a while and Daryl probably thought in the back of his head that Carol's probably dead, but it was just really good and then Rick you can tell Rick straight away he was sorry for kicking her out and he was made up and he was like, Did you do that? And it was like, Yeah it was like, Oh man <laughs> he's got that to arm and everything and then when she led them to the baby, oh man and Sasha and Tyrese, it was just a great reunion, it was it was a good way to end the episode with them all together and walking along the railway and you get the um, and then the credits roll and then that additional scene with Morgan. So we we all probably know that Morgan's going to chase them, uh, going to follow them. But call me crazy, but what if Morgan is a termite? I know that sounds stupid, but what if he's being held at Terminus and he is leading breadcrumbs? For the termites. People are going to say, oh no, that's stupid, that's stupid, but last time you saw him, he wasn't in a great mindset, so they could have manipulated him. They could have done anything, really, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Um, I've got probably, yeah, I think next episode's going to be amazing, Father Gabriel, and I've got good hopes for this season, as I do always with The Walking Dead. Uh, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Thank you.